After receiving the Quick Read Go instrument, open the packaging box carefully and lift the Quick Read Go instrument out of the box. Check that all these items can be found. Mains cable, power supply, instructions for use, instrument certificate. Then plug the mains cable into the power outlet. The next step is to plug in the mains cable. Now you are ready to start your Quick Read Go for the first time. Press the power button on the front panel of the instrument. A light on the power button will indicate that the instrument is powered on. Orion Diagnostica and Quick Read Go logos are first shown on the screen. Please note that the instrument software version is also shown under the Quick Read Go logo. Next, you'll be asked to complete a setup wizard for selecting the language and the date and time. Start the wizard by choosing Start on the touch screen. Follow the instructions given on the screen. The default language is English. It can be changed on the first step of the setup wizard. Select the language you wish to use by touching the corresponding language button and confirm your language choice. The chosen language can be changed any time later. Choose Next to continue. The second step in the setup wizard is to adjust the date and time. Choose Edit on the time row and adjust the time with the arrow buttons. Select a 12-hour or a 24-hour clock according to your needs. Confirm your settings by pressing OK. You can edit the date with the same procedure. Accept your settings by pressing OK. Your settings are stored into the memory and will be used every time you start your Quick Read Go. Choose Next to continue. The third step in the setup wizard is to adjust screen brightness. To do this, touch the arrow buttons on the screen. Choose Next to continue. The next step is to adjust audio volumes. Adjust the keypad tone volume with the arrow buttons. You can check the sound volume by choosing Test and listening to the sound. Do the same with the alert tone volume and then choose Next. If you are satisfied with your settings and want to use Quick Read Go in the basic mode, choose Main Menu, which takes you to the main menu. You can now start running patient tests. If you want to use a patient ID, an operator ID, print or send results to a laboratory information system, or make test-specific settings, choose Advanced Setup. You will enter the Measurement Flow screen, which allows selecting patient ID, Operator ID, print or LIS transfer to be set on or off. Select Operator ID on if you wish to use an Operator ID connected with each measurement. If you select Operator ID on plus Propose Previous, the instrument uses the same Operator ID until it's changed. In the same way, select Patient ID on if you want the instrument to ask a Patient ID to be given before each measurement. By selecting Printing On, you can print each result by a manual command after the measurement is ready. If you choose Printing On plus Automatic, the results are automatically printed as soon as they are ready. Setting LIS On allows you to send the results to the laboratory information system by a manual command. If you select LIS On plus Automatic, the results will be sent automatically to the laboratory information system. Next, in the Advanced Setup, you can select test-specific parameters. You'll need an administrator password to access this menu. Touch the icon for keyboard and a virtual keyboard will emerge. The default admin password can be found in the user manual. Now you can select a test and set the parameters, such as the unit use for the results or the sample volume. All settings can be changed any time later by going back to the Basic Settings menu. Now go back to the main menu by choosing Next on the following two screens and Main Menu on the third screen.